So there we go. Yeah, All right. Nice. Well, it's a conch. Okay, it's a nice conch. It's got a nice big flared edge. It's a, uh, it's just a really well developed conch. The larger the conch, the uh, the deeper, the better the sound. Okay. There's this outside ridge. The first set of horns you see. Then there's a trough. There's a second set of horns, and then there's another trough. If you haven't harvested conch before, what you do is take a chisel and hammer it right down there. You take a fillet knife down and just skirt it right against the center core, and then cut up and away, and the conch will fall out. So most of the conchs have this harvest hole. And you shouldn't really make a, uh, a, a horn out of a conch that hasn't been harvested. It's a little unethical, I think. So this is the, uh, we're talking about the first trough, the second trough, there's the third trough right here, and then we cut on the apex of going to the fourth trough. We're gonna cut that bit off, and then we're gonna go into the, uh, the, the hammering and like opening up the, uh, the hole. Like, if you see this, it doesn't actually have, like this is not natural. This I hammered out, and that's the way most conks are, which is why we have these other tools, is you have to hammer the hole out to make it large enough to be able to purse your lips and make a sound, and also uh, to be able to get rid of a bit of the center, but not too much of the center, which we talked about earlier. If you break the center spine too much, it will just not make a sound. But if you do it right, It'll make a really nice sound. Like. Now, so what I do is I set it down, put my feet on it, and this is, this is very not safe, but. Not OSHA. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it anyways. So there's the first trough, there's the second trough, there's the third trough, I'm gonna cut right above the third trough. You never really know what you're gonna find. Sometimes it's still completely closed off. Sometimes it's opened up. This time it's opened up. That's pretty cool. Uh, if you cut too far down, it's way too open, it won't make a sound. If you cut too far up, it's way too closed and it won't make a sound. This looks pretty good. So the first thing I want to do is kind of like open the hole up a little bit more and then I'm going to knock the center out. Okay, and I use this with a little punch. You can use a screwdriver too, it doesn't... Okay, and then I switch to a screwdriver for this last little bit. Just try to make it as round as possible. Okay, and that, that bit I was talking about was coming up where like we got to knock this center bit out. If you look at this and you see how there's like uh, the center is knocked out. We're gonna do that here, and this is what makes or breaks this uh, this conch. So, so, you have like a very special conch that you're like, oh, I want this to be my conch horn. You never see, know if it's actually gonna work the or not. First knock. Maybe it makes it out. And then uh, we'll do. A real quick test. Oh, I don't count yet. That is very so there we go. Wow, All right. Nice. Very nice. Now we're going to even it up a little bit to make it a little bit easier. I picked a nice and good conk for me. I'm going to. Anytime you try to blow a conch, they have a harvest hole almost every time. You have to make sure it's completely covered or it won't make a noise. Okay, there we go. You shook the dog. So that's, that's how you go. Um, yeah, so that one, that one worked. It's the center. You saw the center bit whenever you knock it. It's just like, that's the hardest bit. You don't know where it's gonna break. You just try your best. There we go. So uh, who wants this guy? Yeah. I like it. You gotta cover the whole 